Welcome, one and all, to the first episode of Trains in New Air, I think. I gotta come up with, I gotta come up with the title. Maybe this is like the, it's like the main character. Maybe it's called Andy and Friends or something. That's it. Andy the Atlantic and Friends. Alright, so, first episode. Andy is an Atlantic. The layout. Now the, uh. Now the, now the uh, line, well, this takes place in the current, the uh, current millennium, where the manager is, he doesn't have a name yet, owns vintage and current locomotives, like this one. It's a 442. Four leading wheels. Four driving wheels and two driving wheels. Also, the manager is nowhere to be seen. Excuse me for just a second. Yeah, this is only the this is only the pilot episode, which means if if it chooses to uh, keep going or it doesn't. It doesn't happen. So we gotta think of <laughs> Jesus Christ! It well, this is the first pilot episode. Hold on, I got to uh, delete all these trains in, in order to make in order to get the pilot episode going. So, as each new episode is made, I add new characters. Well, n well, new characters are based off of, of the trait. Plus, I think, I think I can name characters in this in this uh, transient era series based off friends at school and uh, <clears throat> teachers at school too. Now I gotta get like a manager character. Give me a second. <laughs> this is so stupid. Why did I think of this in the first place? All right, let's see, yeah, get like a person or something. Person. Oh, here we go. A Western man. Here we go. Got to place him right there. Plus, I don't edit. Sorry guys, this okay. Seriously, if this if this doesn't work, at least I tried. All right, look there. Start driver. All right, now back to the episode. Uh, sorry guys. If this doesn't go well, well at least I tried. The manager of the uh, railroad, it's called the, I think it's called the uh, Kansas Marietta Ackworth and Southern Railroad. Ah, Andy, said the manager. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad. I'm glad I, I'm glad I'm here, sir," said Andy. "I want you to go to the coal plant to pick up some coal cars. You think you can do it? I'll have a good try," said Andy with spirit. I'm gonna add some coal, add some coal cars. <laughs> this is so dumb. I think I'll cheat on this one. Now the truck. Now these trucks, these cars, are not. 
are troublesome. They can cause they can cause major trouble on this railroad. Alright then, off you go, said the manager. Right, said Andy. I think... Did you hear that? Said the trucks. There's a new engine. Let's have some fun with them. Oh, and he was a newcomer. He worked on the SP until the manager and the board of directors bought him and and restored him. Now he, he works now the manager he's he's a he's a kind guy. He cares about his engines. Like Sir Tom Hat for example, you know? He can be stern sometimes, but in in the end he he's he's a nice guy, you know. What a nice day, what a nice day, said Andy. I couldn't agree more, said his driver. We must stay to the speed limit, said his driver. Yeah, sorry for dudes, it is it's a bit lagging, but otherwise it went smooth. As a narrator, I uh, kind of moved the engines a little bit. Hey, what are you? And said, "Hey, what are you doing?" Well, I'm the well, I'm the narrator of, the, of this episode. I uh, guess you're right. Some some Atlantic. Soon, Andy arrived at the coin plant. You must slow down, Andy, said his driver. Nice, what a nice billboard. Carl Love Shell. <laughs> so true right there. No, it's, it was based in the south. Us, uh, us southerners like a good economy. Merge of the coin plant stopped Andy. It seems to be a problem, said his driver. That's the trucks. Be, be careful with these trucks, said the manager. These things are troublesome.
So be careful. Otherwise, you'll be derailed. Don't need to worry, said his, said, said his driver. Said his driver. I think we can handle it. All right then, but I but don't say I didn't warn you, said his driver. All right, off you go then. Oh look, here here comes that comes the Atlantic. We got a newcomer here, boys. Set one of the trucks. All right. So the the blues whistle. The dream's on its way. Right, you what? said Wendy. I want no nonsense from you, understand? The cars were silent then. And the cars and the cars behave well. One trunk said, ah, my wheels, they must be burning up. So they stopped, so they stopped the train. So they stopped the train. The conductor checked. Could be the hot sun on your wheels. We'll carry on. So the conductor went back to his caboose. The train, the train started up again. Our plan didn't work, said the cars. But Andy was determined not to. Was determined to. So, Andy was determined that the cars didn't. So Andy was determined that the cars that they didn't beat him. 
You you got you got it, said said the driver. Keep going. Hold hold back, said the truck. Oh no, you don't. Good. Don't let them beat you, said the driver. Keep going. Give it everything you got, says the driver. And and the, and the, and the, and then the and then the conductor watched. You got it, said the conductor. Keep going. And Andy did just that. And this railroad run, this rail, railroad line had some periods of transition. This single, this track, this single section of track was was once a grade crossing, but now the grade crossing was out of service and got leveled and got replaced by this track. Now there, well, I forgot to, well, I forgot to mention. There's one short, short route, and there's a long route. The trucks tried a different plan. So they surged forward. Uh oh. It can't stop, said Andy's driver. And the signalman forgot to not switch the points, but it was too late. Said Andy. I can't stop. The driver tried to the driver tried to tried to, tried to put on the brakes, but it was but it was no good. Kept on going. Right here there is right here there's a two track crossing. But at what well, has a junction, one on this track and one on this track. <laughs> one of the of reference got the fan camera. What was that? Exclaimed the real fan. The driver had had an idea. He radioed to. He radioed. We need to. We need to put some. We need to put some. Uh, uh, some bots cars ahead of the train to slow it down. I think that'll make things worse. Said. Said the conductor. But uh, but it was it was no good. Uh oh! Jump out! Said the uh, jump out! Said the conductor, and he did. So the driving fireman just in time. Ow! Said Andy.
So Andy was was back on the rails. So was the trucks. And they laughed and laughed. And the manager walked up to see him. Andy, what happened? He said. Well, you see, sir, it was the trucks. Now, I can understand that, said the manager. It wasn't your fault. It was those, it was those silly trucks that had searched forward. It's a good thing. It's a good thing those. Those, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, those boxcars stopped you in time. As for you lot, said the manager sternly, don't surge forward. It wasn't your fault. It was your fault, Andy. It was a do it was a dozen signal men and trolled some trucks. It was a human error all. Nothing nothing bad. It's a good thing you stopped. Andy you can only agree. That's that's marks the end of the episode. Let us call. He he can he continue on his route. This marks the end of the episode. So that was the first episode. Um, well, I don't know, I don't know what title yet, but it could be um, Andy the Atlantic and Friends. Yeah, that's it. So that was the first. Well, that was the uh, pilot episode, and oh, and plus I I used the D. Thomas theme. Well, it was less than. It was less than 10 seconds. So, thank God for watching. This, well, this will be a series called... We call Andy and Friends, a Transit Era series. Be sure to like, comment, and turn on that post notification to pop subscribe for more. Like and comment, and... Said, uh, follow me on social media Twitter at Andy Yanksman. Give me a follow on Google Plus as well, too. Snapchat 89 Instagram 12 well 2 AE1699. Thank you for watching. See you guys in episode 2. Bye, dudes. Take care.